that's a question that we hear quite often. What do I do if someone dies, if, if my loved one dies? Firstly, if they pass away at the nursing home or the hospital, then so many of the needs for the person that's passed away are looked after immediately from the hospital in that the doctor will pronounce the person as, as dead and um, a medical certificate of death in Ontario is, is what a, a funeral home needs in order to remove the person to the funeral home as well as register the death. There's only one of those certificates provided by the doctor and that goes in to register the death and so the funeral home needs it to do that. If something happens suddenly and the person dies and it's not anticipated, uh, people sometimes will usually call 911 uh, the ambulance will attend and uh, if the person has already passed away and the EMS people are not able to, to help them or revive them, their de decision is made. And um, uh, the doctor, family doctors usually notified and will attend the person at home. Or if it's a, a situation where they need to call a coroner, a coroner will attend and um, uh, pronounce the person and if there's any uh, significant reasons for the passing and that kind of thing. And uh, when all those immediate things are done and looked after, then they will think to call a funeral home and um, have us come and attend and look after the person uh, at, at, from the home or hospital nursing home. We're acutely aware that crossing the threshold at the funeral home is one of the hardest things they'll ever have to do. And so we hope that we have a, a warm and welcoming environment for them. Um, that we treat them with respect. It's for Mark and I and our funeral home, it's not a business transaction. We're there to help people. There are vital statistics that uh, every funeral director needs in order to register a death in Ontario and file for a burial permit, which is still used for cremation today. And those statistics are we need their social insurance number, we need their birth certificate, we need to know their place of birth and date of birth, their parents' names, their places, their parents' places of birth, um, who is the executor or next of kin. For your own business needs, you really need to have a proper will to help your family and anyone settling your estate. And then we move forward into uh, the, the discussion and talk about whether the person ever talked about what they would like for a funeral. What were their, what were their thoughts? Did they wish cremation? Did they wish burial? Is there a family plot somewhere? If you make your funeral arrangements ahead of time, it doesn't mean something's going to happen. It helps your family in so many ways. It's a legacy you can leave them that's so helpful. And you know, when you come for this interview with us or, or consultation, it's good to have someone with you that can support you, that maybe isn't quite as close to the situation with you as you. We can also get the family names for a newspaper notice or a notice on the website. Um, today, the web, you know, everybody's on Facebook and, and uh, mobile. So to get the information out today is very quick, very fast, but it's good to have the proper information and the proper spelling of family names and, and how things are to be worded and, and those items.